Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a get ready with me. I'm trying out some products from Laura Geller and I'm also going to use products from my existing collection. I'm also going to announce my June Summer in the Sun giveaway. So if you'd like to find out more, then just keep watching. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. Before we get too far into this intro, let me let you guys know that I am experiencing some allergy something. And I have been sniffling throughout this entire video. So I hope I don't sniffle too much. And my eye has been watering as a result I think so it may not look the best right now and there were times throughout the video when I just wanted to just stop <laughs> we've survived and we're here filming this intro and I have completed this makeup look the reason I visited Laura Geller's website was to pick up the baked balance and brighten powder foundation in the shade sand I previously filmed a video trying out new makeup it's been a while, at least a year or longer. I used this shade and it was the shade tan and you can see that it is deeper. I ordered these online and I wasn't certain what my shade was and I used the models to determine what I thought was best and that one was too dark. I have been making it work by mixing it with other powder foundations but I've always wanted to go back and pick it up in a lighter shade. I wasn't sure if I should because I'm like, do I use it enough? Is it worth going back and trying again um, is there a match for me you know I asked myself all those questions but I think that there was a good sale going on on the website and oftentimes there are sales and I thought now's a good time for me to go back and test out the other shade so here we are I initially purchased the foundation because another youtuber was raving about it and how good it was I have to agree it is a very good foundation the only problem that I had was I picked the wrong shade so I thought let me go back and see if this one will work so that is the shade that I have on today so here you go you see this is the shade sand I also have a couple other products a highlighter a cream blush and an eyeliner that I wanted to try out and then the other products that I have on my face are existing products in my collection I don't want to spoil the video by talking too much about what's on my face but I did enjoy creating this makeup look and I do like a lot of the products that I'm wearing right now so now my giveaway items that I'm going to give away. I mentioned these items when I filmed my last haul. This is the Pat McGrath Mini Eyeshadow Palette in Sublime Smoke. And it looks like this. And I thought this would be a very good palette to give you guys. If you haven't had a chance to try Pat McGrath eyeshadows, this is a great way to get started. You can really create an entire makeup look from what it looks like here using the shadows that are in this little mini. I am really happy to be giving this away to a lucky winner. And today I used the Divine Rose 2 palette to create the makeup look that I'm wearing right now. So I'm wearing Pat McGrath eyeshadows. And I also have a Lash Craft Mascara from Sephora collection because I have a nice little eyeshadow palette so now you'll have a nice little mascara to go with it and this is a really really good volumizing mascara if you have not tried this mascara I have and it is really good this one says big volume so it makes sense but it's a nice voluminous mascara and these are the two items that I'm giving away in the month of June some of you have been with me a while so you kind of know the drill but let me run through it really quickly especially since this is the first giveaway of the summer I like to give away a prize every month during the summer so summer begins with the month of June and ends in September so I will give away a different prize in in June, July, August, and September. So four different giveaways throughout the summer. The price range for the prize is $50 or less. There will be a raffle copter link in the description box that you will click to officially enter the giveaway. You must subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below any positive comment in order to enter this giveaway. You also must be 18 years old or older. There will be several giveaway rules down in the description box, so be sure to check 
the description box for the giveaway rules to make sure that you are qualified to enter this giveaway. The winner will be selected randomly. Also, this giveaway is open internationally. Typically, my giveaways last a couple of weeks, but I will have the dates down in the description box so that you know when the giveaway ends. I will contact the winner using the information that you will leave at Rafflecopter. So good luck to everyone. But remember, if you don't win the June giveaway, there will be three other opportunities throughout the summer. So without further delay, let's go ahead and dive into today's video. I start off with my Fix Plus. And I do not have a beauty blender over here this time. So this is what we're doing. <laughs> now I'm gonna apply my sunscreen, which is also a primer. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen in SPF 40. I used to talk to you guys about this all the time. It feels like a silicone based primer. It is also a sunscreen. Allergies, my allergies are killing me today, guys. I'm also going to use a little bit of my Timeless Smoothing Primer by Tarte. I'll just use a little bit of that in the T-zone here. And where I have some visible pores. Both of these primers are really good if you have more oily skin or like I get oily in my T-zone. They both do a good job of adding to the longevity of your foundation. Because I'm going to try out a powder foundation, I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer. Before I apply concealer, I'm going to use my Smashbox Times Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And this one is in the shade Medium. And I don't use it very often because I almost forget about this one for some reason. I just forget I have it here. I find that when I apply it with a brush, it's just faster. I'm more likely to actually use this product. I'm just going to apply a light layer underneath my concealer. And this is like the best little concealer brush by Sephora Collection. It's brush number 57 and it's just perfect for like concealing little spots like here as well, which I'm not going to do right now. <laughs> but it's just really a nice small brush for applying concealer. I, I typically use a larger brush, but for something like this, a small brush was perfect. I have a new one of these to open up. This is the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. I bought the regular and I also bought the creamy. I got them half off during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. This one is in the shade Tan. I just dipped in once. And we're going to take it over the eyes a little as well. Super bright forehead right now, but it's going to all come together, guys. I'm going to look a little cray-cray for a little bit, though. Look a little crazy for a little bit. <laughs> I see a little bit of a shadow under my eye, a little bit still, but I'm just going to put a light layer of concealer and color corrector. I just don't feel like having a lot on today. So what I'm going to do is apply my Huda Powder under my eye like to my t-zone to set the concealer before going in with the powder foundation so i'm gonna use my wayne goss the airbrush brush to apply my powder and unfortunately guys i don't think that you can get this brush anymore on beautylish because i have not seen wayne goss's brushes there i don't know if they're just gone temporarily or what the deal is but this is like my favorite little powder brush for setting the concealer areas just love it the shade of my huda powder is in banana bread i picked this up in sand and i kind of hesitated for a while to do this because i always felt like sand looked like it might be too light we're gonna give it a try and see this is again the baked balance and brighten color correcting foundation it says balance your skin tone and brighten your day our iconic weightless formula is baked for 24 hours and hand finished in italy giving you the easy application of a powder with the benefits of a cream sweep and blend on face with a kabuki brush for fuller coverage use a denser brush and apply in a padding motion the new compact looks like this and it is more like a, a shinier black finish this is what sand looks like and with my lights it looks really bright 
But if you pull it back here, this is what it would look like here on my skin. The original one I had, the case looks a little more matte. All right, and so this is what tan looks like. So it's deeper. So if you are deeper than me, like my daughter's complexion, she's a little darker than me. This is probably something that will work for her or even someone a little deeper. This looks like this might work for me, this shade over here, sand. So we're getting ready to find out. So here we go. This is not a super dense brush, um, but I'm going to use it this way. No, no, no. I have a new brush. Oh, I got a new brush for that. I did some Beautylish shopping. I forgot, guys. I picked up a couple of brushes. I had $20 off from the gift card event that they had. This is what the brushes look like. This brush is a Ninja Pro brush, and it's supposed to be good for bronzer and powders. And this is the Jumbo Base, and it is for creams, liquids, but it can also be used for powder. I purchased the Classic Base, which is smaller than this and i don't have it with me but it's a smaller base brush and i wanted to try the larger one so i might use that today and i still might go back and buff it out with this so again this is the jumbo base by sonia g and i purchased it at beautylish so here we go let's see sand got a little bit here oh yeah because that sort of disappeared wow and I think that the reason I didn't pick this up originally is the model looked fairer than me in the photographs. So I picked up tan. This was always the shade I needed. So let's see, y'all, if I can cover those couple of blemishes I have. Oh, yeah, it's doing a pretty good job. Doing a pretty good job of covering. <laughs> we'll just try to do one half of my face. And then we'll take a look here. And I try not to cover up all of my forehead here where I've brightened with concealer. We just sort of go around it here. I really wish I knew how my eyes running. It usually will stop at some point, but right now it's it's a water faucet. But it could be, like I said, allergies acting up a little bit, but just ignore that <laughs> very very natural looking I know that I have concealer and powder right here so it may be hard to tell you know the powder foundation the look of it right now and just kind of focus here is my skin with nothing on this section and right here and then this is where the foundation is very very natural looking and perfect shade I'm so excited now I can just maybe give that away <laughs> I can already tell you this is a really good powder foundation and this is perfect for kind of on the go so let's go ahead and do the other side and like I, I have like some veins here and it's doing a good job of covering that and covering any dark spots or imperfections that I have. I like the brush too, guys. And I know I used it right out the pack <laughs> without washing it. I'm really shook y'all by just how like where I have um wherever they are underneath there <laughs> the two little dark, dark spots that I have here like if I get a blemish it just lives on my face forever it takes so long for them to disappear as I've gotten older anybody else have that problem I feel like when I was younger little marks from pimples went away faster but now it takes years it just seems like it's there for a year. The fact that that foundation covered that pretty well just by me kind of pouncing it on there without me having to add concealer. That's what she said. Laura Geller. Let's use this brush and just sort of buff together 
any harsh lines that I'm seeing between the concealer and the foundation. Just use this to buff everything in with no additional product. What do you think of the foundation so far? I like it. I know you can really see the powder right now, but after I complete my makeup look and sort of spray my setting spray, it kind of all sort of melds into the skin, okay? And I take this Chikahoto brush and just sort of dust this powder off so that we're not too dry under the eye. Now, let's do some brows. I'm gonna sculpt my brows with my Benefit brow pencil this is the precisely my brow and this one is in the shade 4.5 i will sculpt them off camera and i will be right back i'm using a little bit of urban decay primer potion just a small amount i'm gonna do a quick eye look and then move on to some other new products i want to test out i'm just gonna use my pat mcgrath labs in divine rose 2 I have like no brushes with me guys. When I came here this weekend, I wasn't sure I was gonna have time to film. I left in a hurry and I just wasn't sure I was gonna film anything. So I didn't bring anything with me, just me. I didn't bring my makeup brushes or anything. So I am going back to the beginning and we're just using some of my old makeup brushes that I keep here at the house, at the house. This is my Sigma brush, also very good, but these are like my synthetic brushes. And I don't really have my um, natural hair brushes with me today. We're just gonna whip a little quick look together. Let's do a little bit of this one here. struggling <laughs> I don't have my brushes okay, I never ever do this color so I'm a little nervous but we're going to go for it I don't rarely use that little bright yellow but why not then we're going to take a little brush no additional product and just sort of soften the edges and a little bit of the purple on the corner here definitely different for me it's gonna come together with my lashes just give me a second <laughs> Just give me a second. I feel like I need a little more, just a little more pink. A little more of the hot pink up here. And maybe even a little bit more of that original, that transition shade. All right, this is a Kajile Long Wear Eyeliner Ultra Smooth Application. I am thinking I'm just going to use this in the waterline. It's chubby. And this isn't something that I would normally put like over my lids. I'm going to do my liquid liner here. And I have a couple of Lancome liners. Like this one is a little slimmer. And it was like a deluxe sample. It says Edol over here on this one. And this is the art liner. This is the art liner. So I'm gonna use these two to do the top lid and then we will move on to the Laura Geller. So I'll be right back. The lashes that I'm gonna to attempt to put on, <laughs> hopefully everything will go okay. But the lashes that I'm gonna be using are these House of Lashes in Iconic Lights. So I'll be back in a moment. All right, T, here we go. Laura Geller Kajal Longwear Eyeliner, Deep Black. So let's see. And I remember like it had a lot of really great reviews. Hmm.
pretty good because it is a large sort of pencil it kind of smudged a little in the inner corner so tighter spaces might be a little more difficult but I think if you maybe want to smudge or just want something really quick and easy, this this seems like it will serve that purpose. I just got to clean up this inner corner here. But pretty good. Easy. It seem, feels like more of like a felt tip. Can't quite tell what the material is, but it looks sort of like a felt tip. But there's a sharpener on the bottom. And it does, okay, it does go up and down here. Not bad. Very easy, but could be problematic if you have small eyes, probably, I guess. So I'm gonna try to clean up the inner corner here where it's sort of smudged everywhere. Oh, that might be a little problem. I'm just gonna go back here and sort of clean that up. I don't know if I'm gonna look my best by the time I'm done because I am really sniffling like crazy today. Maybe that's why my eyes are watering here and I'm constantly, I'm kind of keep touching up because I'm, I'm, I got the sniffles. It's a rainy day here where I am and so I don't know. I, I don't know what I'll be looking like at the end of this. I still have one more. I have like a highlighter here that we're going to try out, but I've got my lovely brush here and I have some bronzer over here I want to apply really quickly. I have the Coco Naughty here and I have Bajan Gyal from Fenty. So I think I'm going to use these two with my new brush here. Ooh. And let's see how my bronzer applies. Oh, I do have a blush too. I have a cream blush. Even though I have on powder products, we're going to see how that works on top of um, the powder. We'll see. Okay, really like the brush. As if I needed another one. Nope, I didn't, but it was new. Wanted to try it out. I'm going to grab the Bajan Gyal and just sort of go around the edges of this. It's a little warmer. Even though bronzer is not intended for contouring the nose, this is a little deeper neutral bronzer, so I'm going to use it. This is the Coco Naughty. I'm just going to do a little contouring of my nose with this. There are no rules, guys. I mean, there are rules, but rules are made for breaking. <laughs> and I just use this to sort of buff out the lines so they're not too harsh. So I have this cream blush, and these were kind of sold out. So I just got what was available. This is the shade Dora Berry, maybe, and it is Italian Marble Blush Stick. And your favorite blush now in a convenient stick. I have tried the Laura Geller powder blushes, but I don't think it was this shade. This is what the blush looks like. Nice, pretty packaging. It's got a like marble sort of deep color with sort of a gold swirl there. Maybe I'll put it on the back of my hand, kind of warm it up on the back of my hand like that and just sort of pick it up that way. And we'll see. We'll do one cheek first. And this is just a refer brush that I use for blush. It's a natural brush, so I probably should be using something synthetic. But I don't have that over here, so this is what we're using. <laughs> I don't have a synthetic brush, so I think we'll be okay. I want a little more. It's very pretty. It actually complements my eye look pretty well. Unintended consequence. Like it goes pretty well with the pink. I'm going to go in directly on the 
the blush stick just to see if I can build it up. All right, so here you go, blush, no blush. That's really pretty and very like natural, even though it's a deep color, cause you guys can see here on my hand, very deep color, probably because it's a cream, you can apply it where it looks sort of natural. It doesn't look too deep on the skin. That's really pretty. I'm gonna go back into the the stick itself. <laughs> and it is actually playing very nicely on top of powder, like not seeing any lifting. It is working well with the powder product. I like this color, very easy. What do y'all think? Now we're moving on to our Laura Geller Baked Highlighter in Natural Glow. You guys know there's another one that we all used to love. The There was another swirl type of highlighter that I also use and still have that they don't sell anymore that was sort of viral. Um, I don't even have it in front of me. So they've done away with that one and they have this and it, it looks sort of like a powder. It just made me curious because people like it. It's a baked highlighter. It's in French vanilla. But it doesn't look like a normal highlighter. It sort of looks like a powder. I was just curious to see what does it look like on the skin. I'm just, so I got it because I was nosy. A baked highlighter. See, it looks like a powder. So I think it's going to end up looking like a very natural, like a natural highlight to the skin and not glowy highlighter. But we'll see. Yep. But look, it, it adds definitely adds highlight but it's a powder it's not glowy guys it looks like a powder like a brightening powder that is so interesting look at that but it is it is highlighting but so differently oh my goodness was not expecting this i wasn't expecting it to do anything that is mind-blowing. It actually is highlighting. Look at that. Wow. That is amazing. Definitely different. Who would this be made for? I think it's... Maybe it's made for the person who wants it to look like, you know, a natural highlight they want it to look more like that's just their skin glowing versus it doesn't necessarily look like you put something there so it's it's highlighting it's just not a shiny highlight definitely different guys do you see any shine there y'all do you see anything shining no it looks like a powder however it is highlighting just doesn't take much to amaze me. Our cult favorite low glow highlighter brings a touch of subtle radiance anywhere you want to brighten up. Each is baked for 24 hours to create the rich creamy formula that delivers a brightening youthful lift. Sweep on the cheekbones, inner corners of the eye, forgot to do that, and Cupid's bow to enhance or dust all over your face for a subtle luminous finish. If I have a different brush, I could dust it everywhere. My inner corners need a little bit of help. So let's see what it does. I can see it. Wow. I think it sort of reminds me like, does anybody else have Hustler Baby Mean Money? Whichever side is not the shiny side sort of looks like this. I don't use it that often though, but that's what it reminds me of. I need to use this liner to sort of line right here. I oftentimes will leave a little gap where my lashes meet with the false lashes and it is so obvious to me sometimes and I hate it. But going back over and kind of lining under here 
helps. Let's hurry up and put myself out of this misery. I'm gonna use the cork liner today. This is by MAC Cosmetics. This is the Sheer Blossom by Sisley. It's expensive, sorry. I just wanna wear it. Oh, you know what guys, I've got to put some mascara on my lower lashes. We'll go back up to that. So pretty and so comfortable. This is a Buxom lip gloss. It's called Hot Toddy. Sort of a similar color, so it sort of plumps your lips. Just gonna put a little bit. It has a like cake batter smell. It's a, like a plumping gloss. It's a pepperminty feel. I like it. Oh. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I had to switch my setting spray to the professional because something's wrong with the sprayer for that. So, got to figure out how to fix that. So, I'm going back and adding in some mascara on these bottom lashes. I don't have the lash primer. So we're probably not gonna look that great by the time we're done, but it'll be something. You know, I like to do a little quick rundown and talk about what I just used on my face and give you guys like a first impression, little mini review here. Really, really love the foundation. I'm super happy with the shade match. Can you guys believe it? Like how so, so close this is to my skin tone. I'm super floored by the shade match in comparison to my original shade in tan. I am so happy that it was worth going back and purchasing this again. And I had been using tan, so I will see if my daughter can use this and pass this on to her, and I will be using this one, so really, really love it. I love, love, love the finish. I don't know how you guys feel about it. I'm not sure what this is gonna look like watching it back, but really love this very skin-like finish that I'm seeing. I applied these products first and set them with powder. The powder foundation sort of, I think, seamlessly blended into those products. You still can see the brightening effect that my concealer did and I didn't put a ton of concealer on which is why you can see a little bit of shadow under my eye because I just didn't apply a lot I was kind of going for more of a natural uh, look so you can see a little bit I'm not gonna do like a full day wear test but when I wear this powder foundation it just wears so well throughout the day I am 49 I, I keep mentioning my age because I'm approaching 50 and I'm happy to still be here, okay? So I'm fine with approaching 50, but I'll be 50 in a couple of months. I have smile lines. I have lines on my face as a mature woman. And this does a really good job of, you know, adding my foundation without like accenting those lines. Like I feel like it is a very smooth finish. How well it covers places where I have imperfections is just unbelievable and to be so lightweight on the skin but still cover these imperfections I can't believe it so this is so good guys like one of the best powder foundations out there and it's really not that expensive so highly recommend this have been using it a while but my first time trying this shade so moving on love that the blush I'm not usually like a cream blush person but i think that it got really good reviews and was sold out in other shades and i thought hey i want to try this and see what the hype is all about i really like this i like the shade i think it works really well with my complexion so this shade is probably good if you have darker skin and i love the natural finish i like how well it applied over the powder foundation so that's always a plus if you can use a cream product on top of powder so really beautiful it's a nice healthy radiant flush to my cheeks without being over the top and too much doro doro berry doro berry <laughs> so i don't know but that's really nice i like that maybe one of the reasons that i'm like liking it so much i think all of these products are really good on mature skin so loving that i think that one of my like 
most unexpected loves today as you can tell by my reaction is this highlighter when i bought this i thought i'm gonna see what this is all about i think that i saw that you know people were purchasing it and using it based on what i was seeing online but it's like a baked highlighter i wanted to see well i like this as well as the previous one and i think this is really really pretty even on my darker skin tone i think that it turned out nicely and each time i turn my head and look at this cheek and i see this highlighter as well as the blush kind of working together and i see it up here i'm just like really impressed i'm very very impressed and i will i will use this again who oh, no. knew Okay, so very good, lovely. The eyeliner, I, I will definitely use this again, but I don't know that I like it better than the other one that I have. I also have this other Laura Geller, and it's a skinnier one, and I think I still prefer like a skinny, retractable eyeliner over the fatter pencil, or whatever this is. I think it's good, it, it did give me a nice black line under my eye and i will use this but i still think that i will probably end up going back to the regular eyeliner by laura geller because i have that too and really do enjoy that one i love that i've used everything else that's on my face in the past but those were my laura geller finds i'm really pleased with what i selected for myself that's my little get ready with me using some Laura Geller products and I'd love to know your thoughts on the products that you see on my face, especially the foundation. What are your guys thoughts on that? So thank you so much for joining me for today's video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will respond. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.